and welcome back to Let's Play Mystical Ninja, starring Goemon. I'm the Impatient Geek, and we're just going to continue onward with this Let's Play. We're moving on to Musashi now, and Musashi is basically a junction where you can do go one of two ways, north or south, I suppose. North, uh, I'm just going to demonstrate that you cannot go north, because there's a giant metal box in the way... Wedged inside a wall as some kind of obstacle. Oh, and there's a silver fortune doll in this pit, so don't miss it. We'll be back here later. Much later. We've got a lot more game to cover before that. So today, we are just going to... Meh. Listen to Gorman's little footsteps. And try to show off the map to a few areas. Oh, and this, this next area has to have the best name ever. Tunnel. That's creativity right there. I mean, look at the map. It's so necessary. This should be an... In I guess this is supposed to be some kind of realistic intermission area. But what's the point? I don't know. I get It should just probably pop you out to the other side. Oh, well. Guess it's for the atmosphere. So they can actually say they had a tunnel there. But once we go through this next door, we're in Shinano and Iga, with some funky beat going on in the background. A more mellowed down version of the original tune in, uh, Kai Highway. Also, my allergies are killing me, so if I sound especially nasally, now you know why. Yep. And that's what happens when you slip up and land on a slippery edge of a platform or something. But surprisingly, I can jump up that slippery edge just fine. Oh well. Platforming is not that hard. It's not that long a way to get up here. We're almost like... We're pretty much seven-eighths of the way up right now. I could get those super dumplings, but I don't need them. Now... Yeah, the size of the dot is disproportionate sometimes, because this is a really long road, actually. Like, even longer than the map itself states. But, at least it's got this nice scenic little house, Wise Man's House, up over there. You know, for those of you who rec remember what Wise Man's House looks like, it's got the little grunny on the top. So let's go walk in and say hi. Or not. Because all houses, you know, crash and rumble like that after an explosion. They don't go flying into a million pieces all over the place. Oh my is right. It got reduced to a burning puddle of, puddle of ash after a ginormous explosion. You know, just like real life. It always burns from the bottom down, not all the way over. It's like it sank into the ground. What, did wise man go to hell? But this is the Triton cell shell that summons Impact. And you must always add exclamation points after his name. Because Ooh. he's Impact. Oh my god, it's the stoner again. You violent fucknut. Okay, you're just weirdo. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting buttered about this. Anyone else notice how these guys tend to spin around a lot? You know, to escape? Even though we've seen this guy twice? Meh, whatever. I'm gonna shut up so you can enjoy this next bit of music.
You can also make his head spin with the control stick. You have no idea how tempted I was to sing there. Good thing I muted the mic. And here we enter hyper destruction. I don't give a shit about the townspeople mode. You know all these people that we're trying to save from being turned into a stage? Yeah, well, we're wrecking all their houses, destroying their trees, and knocking out all these giant robots and kites. And shrines! Because Japanese people don't care about their shrines. It's not spiritually important. Oh, and the bridges in the middle of nowhere, they don't matter either. You know, I'm glad I'm destroying those bridges, actually. They're, they're supposed to be over water. Why, don't, why not have a bridge over one of those endless abysses? Abai, abyssai. I don't know what I don't know what plural for abyss is, but basically, you see your energy meter. Oh, and that's what happens when you trip over a bridge. Your energy meter goes up as you destroy more stuff. Impact is fed by destruction. And I just you just land on that last guy. That was perfect. You also gain Rio for destroying stuff, and Rio is used to shoot those little bullets I was talking about. But now, now is not the time for more destruction. Now is the time for boss. Which means, in another sense, it is for destruction. Now, I gotta explain a few things. That bar at the top, that's the boss's health. B is for right punch, A is for left punch. Ryu is how much... Uh, Rio, Rio is how much ammo you have for your bullets, and oil is your health. You can now let me explain the controls. B button for left punch, which is a short, uh, not powerful punch, usually used in combos, and A for super punch, which is used to fight, which is used to just knock the boss back. Now, pressing B three times and then tapping A does the super kick. Well, that's your right kick. If you press C down twice and then A, you'll do a regular kick. Press C down, C, C up, C down, and then C up, and you'll do that super mega punch attack. And there's the left kick as I was demonstrating. And you can also press the R button to use the chain pipe to reel the enemy in. You gotta mash buttons after you catch on to them. Now, you see how both those bars are filled up? How both those bars on the sides of the radar are filled up? Well, that's what it's for, that laser. When you, when both, you gain, you gain bar, per se, from taking damage and giving damage. Punching random stuff and just destroying. Impact is powered by his thirst for destruction. And now, here I try to demonstrate the laser again, but miss horribly. You are unable to steer the direction of the laser after you after you decide to commence laser fire. And, I, and for some reason, I can't shoot. I can't. Okay, there. I hit all four of the missiles. Oh, here we go. Now, here I was trying to do it again. You're also invincible while you're firing the laser, and when he does that thing, this is the best time to use it. it does 400 damage, the super mega hyper punches do like 200 damage, and super punch does 80, regular punch does 10, kick does like 100 I think. And that's about it, as far as I can tell. Why is, it, why is he trying to do the burning attack? Bullshit. Now this is actually a useful way to charge up your meter. You can punch his illusion and then just fire the laser at him. And guess what? He's dead. Yep. That little flary effect just finished him. Pretty simple, right? That's how giant boss fights normally go. You just bash the fuck out of him and then fire a laser and satisfy your utter thirst for destruction. Konami influences it in video games. And he winks at you and presents Mystical Ninja starring Goemon. Like I said before, 
very accomplished musical track. I love this game's music, and I'm not normally big on music. I'm huge on gameplay. If I could say what parts of a game were most important to me, I'd say it would have to be gameplay first, then uh, ch 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 characters. Do I like the characters or not? Then music, then graphics. And that's about it. Sound effects I don't really mind. I usually just tune them out. But now, we've made it all the way to Zazentown. Past that infinite stretch of land that was Shinano. <gasps> and it's another ninja. Who could it be? Yay! Bit of plot here. Some nice espionage music. Just as I suspected, you hadn't. What? Oh, that's what you suspected. Okay. And we have a narrator who's Mr. Elephant, apparently. Okay then. I didn't know we had a narrator. I thought we. Well, we have a can laughter, so I guess we have a narrator. And here, Gorman makes some stupid joke about fruits. It's really dumb. <sighs> yes, indeed. We have a party of three now. Yay is an ally. She's pretty cool. Aside from, like, being the only girl in our team, or who will be in our team, She's got a little knife. I guess it's supposed to be a sword, but it looks like a knife. The way she kills enemies is different. If she hits them with her sword, they split in half and then die. Or they just blow up, depending on if they have a splitting animation. Now I'm going to show off, like... Well, I thought this was a restaurant, but it's just a hotel, so I left. General store. And this one sells the metal helmet which I was trying to show you guys. It's like the sombrero, except it blocks five shots instead of three. Which is pretty cool, but I don't need it. And stupid camera angle. Ugh, I've shown off, I've shown off all the freaking rooms. I don't need them. Oh, uh, yeah. Stupid allergies. And here I decide to buy some plum rice balls just because. I want an, an extra... I want life insurance, okay? Instead of extra lives, the rice balls are rice insurance. The, you have extra lives. And, oh, look at this place. It's got, got some stones, nice lake. I think I want to hear some serene Japanese ambiance. So I'm just going to hit this bamboo thing. Or horribly fail at it. Try to hit. Trying to hit it. Come on, hit it! Ah, and magically a silver fortune doll appears out of nowhere. I bet not many of you knew about this. All you people in Japan probably hit it because you knew what it was. Oh, Kashiwagi da! Dong dong! Oh, look, a silver fortune doll! That's my best Japanese impersonation when my nose is stuffed. Now, let me show you some of the foods here. Each place, each restaurant has different foods. This place has rice crackers, sauce dumplings, and hot tofu. And here I'm just showing, here I'm reinstating how they say different things. Depending on who you talk to, yada yada. And there's the plasma fortune tellers up there. He doesn't always have some big old shrine to himself. He's got to rent out some space because apparently he can teleport everywhere. Or he's got a million brothers and twin brothers and sisters like J Officer Jenny and Nurse Joy. <sighs> now, I decided to switch to Gorman because ladies shouldn't be forced to get their feet wet. Oh, now I know some manly woman's gonna be like, What? How come a man has to get his feet wet and a woman can't? Hey, I'm just being polite. 
purple fades easy. And now I'm trying to talk to this guy because he's important, but he won't trigger an event until you talk to a certain other person, which I will be coming up on right now. This is Beneki. He blocks our way by the from the Gojo Hashi Bridge, and he's some kind of giant terrorist, apparently, or just a treasure collecting asshole who if we don't get no toes and we don't eat no rolls I made that up myself <sighs> and now you have to ask this guy about Benneke <sighs> yep 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 we want to get past but obviously it never comes free we have to do some little intermission thing catch fish from the Duck Creek. So it starts off easy. Red green, red fish, blue fish, one fish, two fish, blah blah blah. One fish. Two fish. And we're gonna collect one more blue and then move on. You hear the nice Japanese percussion sound when you collect three blue fish. And I think I'm going to... Yeah, here, on the pause menu, you see the blue fish are represented in the middle. I think you could collect more before giving it to that guy, but I think that's the only place that they show up. As well as all those other items, like the silver fortune doll with the gold half representing how many more pieces you have to... how many more silver fortune dolls you have to collect, each silver fortune doll representing a, p a quarter of the golden... And so on. And the Lord Super Pass is, and the Triton Shell as well. So now we have to collect five yellowfish. whoop de doo Are you bored of this already? I'm not. I'm the one who's playing. I get to collect stuff. Now I thought that was a red, a yellowfish. And I think around here I'm going to try to show you guys how I... Uh, what happens when you collect the wrong color fish somewhere around here. Maybe that red fish. And the yellow fish is on the right. It just says this is not a yellow bracket, yellow fish. Close yellow bracket. That's it. And here I demonstrate it again completely by accident. Twice. I love it. I love collecting shit by accident. And I was trying to show off my awesome ninja skills by jumping up a ladder, but the camera angle won't let me. God, I probably sound like I'm a dying sick dude. Like I have one single cavity from my nose to my mouth. God, I hate allergy season. But duty calls, and I must deliver on time, so I have to record this now. Just gonna collect some redfish. Uh, I guess we saved the redfish from the bluefish raping it up the ass. Don't want any purple fish in this creek. We don't speak of no purple fish. Do, 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 do. This place is like some of the most serene, relaxing music, and we can't get up on that platform yet. We'll be back there later. And we're collecting more bluefish by accident. And, I don't know, I guess when we touch a bluefish when we're not supposed to collect them, they just disappear. Whatever. That's a red fish. That is not a red fish. There are more red fish. I just take different paths for different fish. This is how I collect them. You can take a different path if you want. You can go right all the, w all the time, or... Just come back to each area multiple times. Whatever. Oh, and the red fish are on the left side. Oh, and that moon-shaped thing at the bottom, that's the miracle moon that we picked up, so... We're gonna... I forget. The miracle moon, it... You'll know what significance it holds later in the game. And I mean way later. 
If there's a lot of blowing going on in the microphone, that's me trying to clear out my damn nose. I took my damn allergy medication. Why is my nose so stuffy? But, move to the other side. Damn translation errors. We receive an Achilles heel. I guess it's just a weakness inducing item. It's that log with the little spinny thing in the middle. So we're ready to take care of Beneki. Awesome. Yeah. Fuck you, Beneki. We're gonna fuck you up. I don't know why we didn't just jump up and hit him, but I guess, you know, this is fun too. When he said when he says blast you far, far away, he just means off the bridge. I don't think he's gonna knock you all the way back to like Mount Fuji or something. That would be fucking incredible. In which case you wouldn't want to hit him before that. Just toss it with a B button. And you have to time it for when he lands. Especially the third time, or else he'll just slash at the barrel and won't be hit by it. Achilles' heel was a weakness. Of Achilles! That's not funny. Why was there a canned laughter? Why is there canned laughter? I don't want canned laughter in this game. Ah, oh, it's so weird. But I love this game to death. Okay. <gasps> hey, that's Sasuke. Batteries play an important part later on in the game. <sighs> Sasuke's a robot, just so you know. Gee, the other day, well, Wise Man's house blew up a few hours ago, so I'm sure that had nothing to do with it. Maybe he got picked up by a bird. Oh, I'm gonna tell everybody, Benaki. I'm gonna tell your mother, and she will come by and pinch your ear. No, wait, your nose, because that's how they do it in martial arts school. At least in Taekwondo, that's what I learned. And here's a nice happy tune. I'm so tempted to hum along right now. You have no idea. This music is just great. I can't emphasize that enough. Now, this is one of those shrines that didn't get destroyed by impact, luckily. You know, during that endless stretch of land that was the robot fight. Closed with magical powers. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Let's just head along this right bridge here. There's a left bridge... There's a left bridge over there that I'm showing you now that goes somewhere else, but taking this right bridge leads you somewhere cool. Turtle Stone. Now, there's something really cool about these Turtle Stones. The Turtle Stones are magical. Turtle Power! Here's in a half shell. Hey, there's four of them. I can make that joke. There's turtle power of the north, west, east, and south. Each sign is on the end that the turtle power will be released upon. I decide to go for turtle power to the south and push at the turtle's face. Turtle Rock. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Favorite Zelda game ever. Better than Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that's right. Better than Ocarina of Time. So now I decide to just shove at the turtle's ass. If it has one, I don't know if it does. But, I know what it does have. Money! It's raining Rio, everybody, even though it's not that significant an amount. Like, at once, I guess it is, but, you know, I've already collected boatloads of Rio. Now, the reason I chose those f the west and the south powers first is because the turtle power of the north is a bit different. North and, uh, I think east. Whoa. Try to shove it. And now, we're in Yamato and the shrines automatically open. It just teleports you. That's why I chose the Silver Fortune doll and money, because they didn't teleport you first. 
I'd say this place is a lot bigger on the inside than it is on the out. Scales of size. Now, there's a silver fortune doll on that platform, and I failed to get it seven times in a row. Mostly just because I take the wrong angle for it, and I'll show you what I mean by that in a bit. Try to recenter the camera angle so I can get off my ass and move back to, uh, whatever. Funk yeah! It's like the inter- yeah, it's the intermission music for Oedo Castle. Intermission by Doze Stuffy. Ah, uh, boy. I don't hear you like shifting around, doing arm motions and dancing to this funky music. Funky beat. That was a surprise pack. That's your extra life. That's your real extra life. Yeah, and oh, the rice ball is your fairy. That's right. Now, once again, I try to get up there. Probably should have sped this part up, but... Eh, I thought I could do it. But... Eh, you guys should suffer a little. Ha 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 ha. But, actually, this, this beat is actually starting to get on my nerves. So, uh, oh, by the way, I'm trying to show off something different, like press and hold Z and you'll do that crawl thing. It's never useful in the game ever. And now, uh, I almost had it, but I just slipped up and fell. Yeah, should have sped that up. Oh, well, whatever. Doesn't matter. We're about to get it this time. Because I know what the hell I'm doing. Like so. Yeah, you have to... Oh yeah, because the platforms block your way. You can move in midair. So, the so jumping under the higher platform is actually the way to get onto that one. Okay. Instead of like crawling under it, which would make more sense, but whatever. Here's the Yamato map. It's nothing special. We're heading back to the Turtle Stone for the Turtle's power of the East, I believe. Yeah, East. Unless they got their directions mixed up. And now... We're gonna warp but this has to be continued next time. Later, folks.